oversized butterfly dies are great for card making. You can partially die cut the edges of your cards. You can die cut large windows to create a stamp pad or die cut compositions or to make checkers. And one of the things I absolutely love is to create pop-ups or interactive elements for my cards. Many of these can be used just like a little paper sculpture or you can also find a way to add a card blank to add an extra message if you want. So my name is Vivi Cameron and in this video I'm going to be talking about one of the latest releases by Scrappy Tales that features butterfly dies and stamps that coordinates together and the larger butterfly in these stamps and dies that I have on my table measures five by five inches. So the first thing I do when I'm going to work with these supplies is to put apart the dies. I use a magnetic sheet and I use a plier to cut the metal and then I place everything organized inside one of these storage envelopes just in case you were wondering how I organize my dice. Okay, for the first card sample, I'm going to use these two die sets and I'm going to die cut all the pieces. And as you know how to do that, I'm going to speed here the video and I'm using there the new Spellbinders die cutting machine. So I'm going to need two of these pieces, also four solid butterflies, two intricate detailed butterflies that are these ones here, and two bodies of the butterflies. You can use cardstock in any color or apply any technique you might like to add color to the butterflies. So I'm going to keep everything super simple and the first thing I'm going to do is to show you how to assemble the pop-up. So you will notice that the dies also score the paper and all you have to do is to fold over those scoring lines as I'm doing here. This pop-up base has two pieces, so we are going to do exactly the same with the other piece. This pop-up stand die also includes decorative panels that you can die cut to embellish the stand if you want. I'm going to show you that option here, but you can also do some stamping on the stand or you can just leave it in a solid color or do ink blending, the sky's the limit. Then you have to glue these two parts together and to do that, you have to adhere the side tabs like I'm doing there. I like to use liquid glue to do this because it provides me with a better bond. And I also uh, like to add color to the die cuts using inks. This is an option, but you can also use the stamp and coordinating butterfly die to create a stamped butterfly as I'm going to do in the next sample. For this one here, I'm just doing a very basic in blending and I'm not worrying about or stressing about making a perfect blending. If you see, I get some patches of ink here and there. Don't worry about it. I just apply one ink color at the top of the butterfly and another one at the bottom. And I try to leave a white space in the center and then I'm applying a navy blue ink from the edges towards the center, also filling those white spaces. Please pay attention that I'm using underneath the die cuts a piece of printer paper and this is to avoid getting the back of the die cuts ink it. That happens when we use a glass mat, all the ink that is over the glass, it will be transferred at the back of the die cuts and we don't want that. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to spray this with water, this will distress these inks, also creating some nice white speckles. And then I'm going to use this Gold Nubo Mica product and I'm going to splatter the butterflies like so. And once the paints are dry, all I have to do is to glue the decorative die cuts over. And I want to show you that the back of these die cuts is clean, it doesn't have any ink because I did the ink blending on a piece of printed paper. So that's a silly thing that I wanted to share with you and after finishing these two butterflies that are the front and the back of the card, we are going to need two other butterflies and we are going to need to score them in half like so and then we are going to fold them in half. Then I'm going to add glue at the top of the wing there and I'm going to uh, stick this other butterfly over and I'm going to do the same in the other side. So we are going to stick those two butterflies folded in half behind that one and then I'm going to add glue at the top of the wings 
and I'm going to glue this other butterfly over. So I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so now I'm going to use scissors to cut two slits in this pop-up base here, just there and here. And we are going to do the same at the back of the piece. So it's a little cut there, and this is going to allow me to slide the butterfly wings in place, just like I'm showing there. And then using a piece of paper, I just add glue to be able to stick everything together. Once this is firmly attached, I'm going to push those folded butterflies behind the butterfly I just glued to be able to put in place the other butterfly. So we are going to insert the butterfly wings into those slits. Then with a piece of paper, I'm going to add glue to glue everything in place. Okay, to make this pop up, we are going to need a rubber band. And this one measures about two inches. It could be slightly smaller. This is all I got. And all you have to do is to slide the rubber band into those slots created by the die in the die cuts. And you have to shape the paper a little bit. Remember the paper has memory. It tends to be flat and we are doing something 3D. So there you go. This is the very basic construction of this pop-up. And you can put it inside an envelope and when the recipient take it out, it will pop up. And because it has an stand, it will stand nicely on any surface. You can also add a sentiment over the wings or over the base. And I also have an idea to add a note card behind the pop-up. So you can also add a gift card or a personal message or anything that you want to add there. And to make this card sample, I did some stamping. As you can see there, you have the option to do a stamping. If you want, then die cut the butterfly, or you can also create a completely die cut butterfly like in the sample before. So I was experimenting with inks. I use blue inks. All these inks are listed in the video description, but of course you can make this in any color. And of course you can use the negative space created by the dice to create stencils. I'm going to use it here just to allow me to put some ink around the edges of that stamped image as I was testing the waters. You can see there that the butterfly that is die cut and the one that is stamped are slightly different in the area of the antenna and the tail. The wings size and shape is exactly the same. And the die set that coordinates with the stamp set also includes other smaller dies, which are actually not that small to create these other two butterflies. I also wanted to see what happens if I die cut this large butterfly using the intricate dies in the other butterfly die set. So I just grabbed this die here and I cut the stamped butterfly and it created something really interesting that I really like. And this is what you are going to see in the next few samples. And if I just glue the intricate detail wings over another stamped image, I will get a very cool look and feel. You can also use those pieces over a solid butterfly to create something different. So I'm going to use this butterfly to make another card sample. And this is the pop-up base. So I'm going to use glue at the top corners of this square in the middle of the pop-up base. And then I'm going to glue that butterfly like so. So pay attention that the butterfly wings are aligned with the edges of the pop-up. And to keep it simple, we are going to add glue at the top of the wings and also at the top corners of the middle square in the pop-up. And we are going to stick on top a solid butterfly die cut. Then we are going to score a line at the top edge of that stamped butterfly. We are going to add glue only at the top edge of that butterfly car base. And we are going to stick this over. I was experimenting when I was doing this. So this is a draft project, but it's good enough to show you this option. And if you are going to make this kind of pop-ups, I recommend to use 300 grams cardstock for the pop-up base. And to finish, all you have to do is to add a sentiment. You can also stick over the front panel of a car all those medium-sized stamped and die-cut butterflies to make a super quick card. 
But here I have another idea. So you can use this large die to partially die cut the car base to create a butterfly shaped edge. If you see there, I use a self healing mat instead of one of my cutting plates because I noticed that by using those self healing mats, I don't get marks at the back of the car stock. That's one of the things I wanted to share with you just in one single video, but I never get the chance to do that. So I'm showing you here what I've been doing. And this self healing mat is three millimeters thick. This is a small self healing mat. I have seen that people cut the larger self healing mats they have, maybe old self healing mats they have to do this and this work in any die cutting machine, including the Gemini. However, in the Gemini, you might need more pressure. So I'm using also a metal shim to add pressure to that cutting sandwich. And by the way, I haven't used my Gemini die cutting machine in any of my videos. And it's unfair because that machine saved my life last year. I could not use any of my other die cutting machines because I had surgery. The recovery time is one year, so I'm still recovering. Of course, I feel a lot better. I feel amazing that surgery has been the best ever. But anyways, that's what I have been absent from YouTube as well. And I never explained you, but if any of you follow me on Instagram, you might know the reasons behind the scenes. So anyways, that's how you get a very nice butterfly edge and the dies also create a very beautiful butterfly frame. So you can see here all the options you have by using layering butterfly dies, especially if they are big. And there are many different ways to layer all those elements. I'm going to show you here a very simple one. So there you go. And for the next sample, we are going to speed up things a little bit and we are going to die cut a butterfly window and then we are going to stick a piece of acetate over. We are going to put confetti on the acetate and we are going to seal the edges using double-sided tape. There is no way to do this. You can put the tape before, after. Anyway, that is good for you. And then we are going to stick over this panel here that has been die cut also with that large butterfly die. So the checker is done. And now I'm going to make a topper. And for that, I'm going to do some stamping. I don't want a solid image, but some contrast in the color. So I'm using two ink colors to do this. And then we are going to die cut this using the solid frame butterfly die and also the intricate die just as I did for one of the samples before. And then I'm going to adhere the toppers to the checker. The sentiments in the coordinating stamp set are gorgeous. And I just hit emboss one and die cut it with a coordinating die and add it to this card. I really like this one. And remember, these are just very basic samples to get your creative juices flowing using the latest Scrappy Tails butterfly dies and stamps. So that's all for today. Please find the link to the blog post and supply list in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.